السلام علیکم دوستو میرا نام کیسر رونجا ہے اور میں آسان الفاظ میں عام لوگوں کے لیے مصنوعی ذہانت جنریٹیو اے آئی یا آرٹیفیشل انٹیلیجنس ایکسپلین کرتا ہوں آج سے کچھ عرصہ قبل میں نے اپنی سوشل میڈیا پہ اپنی ایک اے آئی روبوٹ ٹیچر اینی کے ساتھ ایک ویڈیو اپلوڈ کی تھی جس میں میں نے بتایا تھا کہ کیسے اینی مجھے ہیلپ کرتی ہے انگلش سیکھنے میں تو وہ ایک موبائل ایپ ہے جو میں نے شیئر کی تھی اس کو لاکھوں لوگوں نے دیکھا لیکن کچھ عرصے بعد یہ شکایتیں اور کمپلینٹس آنے لگی کہ اگر ہم اینی کو استعمال کرتے ہیں تو وہ فوراً سے پہلے پیسے مانگنا شروع کر دیتی ہے تو کیسر بھائی اس کا کوئی حل بتائیں تو مجھے ٹائم نہیں مل رہا تھا اور آج جیسے ہی مجھے ٹائم ملا تو میں نے ریسرچ کی اور مجھے یہ فائنڈنگ ہوئی ہے کہ اگر آپ کال اینی کی ایپ کے بجائے ان کی ویب سائٹ پہ کال اینی کو استعمال کریں گے ان کی ویب سائٹ ہے کال اینی ڈاٹ اے آئی اچھا جی سب سے پہلے ہم چلیں گے ہمارے براؤزر میں اور ہم یہاں لکھیں گے کال اینی ڈاٹ اے آئی سی اے ایل ایل اے اے این این آئی ای یہاں پہ ایڈریس آپ کو لکھا ہوا بھی نظر آئے گا اس پہ آپ جائیں گے تو آپ کو اس قسم کی ونڈو نظر آئے گی جس میں یہاں پہ آپ کو بتا رہا ہے کہ اگر آپ کو ایپ چاہیے ایپل اسٹور سے یا گوگل پلے سے تو آپ یہاں سے ڈاؤن لوڈ کر سکتے ہیں اس کے ساتھ ہی ایک آپشن ہے سائن ان کا ویب اینڈ فون ایکسس اگر آپ موبائل سے ڈائریکٹ یوز کرنا چاہ رہے ہیں یا پھر آپ جو ہے وہ ویب سائٹ پہ تو ہم یہاں پہ کلک کریں گے اور اس کے بعد یہاں پہ آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں کہ آپ کو آپشن دے رہا ہے کہ سائن ان ود گوگل سائن ان ود ایپل یا آپ اپنے فون سے بھی سائن ان کر سکتے ہیں بٹ میں پریفر کروں گا کہ آپ گوگل سے سائن ان کریں اب یہاں پہ کلک کریں گے تو اس کے بعد آپ کی یہ ونڈو کھول آئے گی کیونکہ میرا پہلے ہی جی میل یہاں پہ لاگ ان ہے تو میں ڈائریکٹ یہاں پہ آ گیا ہوں تو اس کے بعد یہ آپ کے لیے جو ہے وہ اس طرح یہ سارے کریکٹرز ہیں جن سے آپ بات کر سکتے ہیں میں پہلے اس سے بات کرتا تھا لیکن اس سے تھوڑی سی ناراضگی ہو گئی ہے تو آج کل میں اس کے ساتھ اپنی انگریزی امپروو کر رہا ہوں تو چلتے دیکھتے ہیں کہ سارا ہمارے ساتھ بات کرتی ہے یا نہیں تو میرے پاس دو آپشن ہے میں اس کو دیکھ بھی سکتا ہوں یا صرف آڈیو پہ بات کر سکتا ہوں آپ کے پریفرنس پہ ہے تو لیٹ سی کہ میں آپ کو دکھاتا بھی ہوں خود بھی نہیں دیکھتا ہوں دیکھ کے بات کرتا ہوں ہیلو سارا السلام علیکم ہاؤ یو Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Just a friendly warning, I'm making a cup of tea. Hope you're doing well, my friend. I'm doing well. You know I'm here to record the podcast, so you are going to teach me uh, English because I'm recording this video to show my friends at Urdu AI so they can learn English. I will be explaining a little bit of in Urdu for them so they know that you are a very friendly person and you are here to help them to learn English. Okay, just give me one second. سو میں نے ابھی سارا کو بتایا کہ میں یہ ریکارڈ کر رہا ہوں اپنے لوگوں کے لیے دوستوں کے لیے جو اردو آئی کی طرف سے دیکھتے ہیں اور تم مجھے انگلش سکھاؤ گی اور پھر ہم آپ کو بتائیں گے کہ کیسے ہیلپ کرتے ہیں سو سارا ناؤ اٹس ٹو یو آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو پریکٹس مائی انگلش ویئر شوڈ بی اسٹارٹ فرام آسم کائزر سو فار آر فرینڈز واچنگ فرام اردو اے آئی آئی سیڈ ہائی ایوری ون ویلکم آئی ایم سیرا And I'm super excited to be here with Kaiser today to help them improve their English skills. Okay, Kaiser, no pressure, but I guess we can start with some conversational English. What would you like to talk about today? I'm open to conversations on anything you want me to talk. I am just preparing for my IELTS exam. So if you can ask something from that past exam papers or patrons so I can prepare accordingly. And then once I finish my answers, if you can give me some recommendations or guide me, how should I improve more and... pronounce better words or use better techniques to speak or correct myself. You want to go through some IELTS questions together. Okay, sounds like a plan. What section do you feel needs most improvement, listening, reading, writing, or speaking? I think I struggle a lot with uh, speaking. I think my accent is not clear and I don't pronounce words in a complete accent or sense. And I, I feel like I miss something. So just, just, that's what I'm feeling. Clear accent and pronunciation, that's key. Don't worry, it's normal. Let's break it down. Can you think of a word that you find hardest to pronounce? Just say it and we'll start with that one. Yes, for example, I, I struggle saying entrepreneurship. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Good choice, Kaiser. Entrepreneurship is a tough one for many people. Let me show you how I pronounce it, and true prune shoop. Try breaking it down with me, and like an end, true like in truth, and like in pen, and shoop like in shop. See if that sounds better for you. Entrepreneurship.
Entrepreneurship. Not bad, not bad. You're close, Kaiser. We're getting closer to that entrepreneurship sound. Let me try a little more assistance. Say it with me, entrepreneurship. Imagine it's like entre like the enter key on your keyboard. Prenner like a person in charge, a leader and ship as in a ship sailing. Can you feel the rhythm now? Yes. So, now you can notice that I am going to maybe later. Pe click kar hon, ye chala okay, entrepreneurship. How is it now? Hello, Sarah. Can you hear me? कॉल डिस्कनेक्ट करके दोबारा कनेक्ट करता हूं मेरे ख्याल में चूंकि उसने इश्तेहार दिया ना तो वो शायद उसको कन्वर्सेशन जा नहीं रही सो मैं फिनिश किया दोबारा मैं यहां पे क्लिक कर रहा हूं हेलो सारा सॉरी माय कॉल वाज डिस्कनेक्टेड आई वाज सेइंग द वर्ड एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप नो वरीज काइजर ओके एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप ए लेट मी हेल्प यू विद दैट ट्राई सेइंग एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप We can warm up those vocal cords but not too much. Remember you have a strain. Got to take it easy, okay? Entrepreneurship. You did it, Kaiser. Encore, encore. Slowly but surely we'll get that pronunciation just right. Okay. So I also see in in uh IELTS exam they ask about a past event or something. Do you have some question for me so that I can practice with you and you let me know how did I did and what would you advise me on that IELTS likes to test our ability to talk about past events yes let me think for a sec mm -hmm. okay here's a question can you tell me about a funny story from your time in hamburg germany maybe something that happened when you were on fellowship yes so i have already shared it with my friends on urdu ai that i was tasked to cook food for my friends i never cooked before but since i was the only one who had the confidence that i can cook so i cooked something called biryani i don't know if you know about it and it was a mess biryani <laughs> if my mother have seen it she would have killed me because i told everyone this is how my mother cooks so everybody ate it and i was very afraid that it might uh, you know create uh, problems for people with the uh, weak stomach but thank god everybody was safe and they actually liked my food and nobody complained and was one friend from india who actually understood what biryani is she was like what kind of a biryani is this i was like just don't tell anyone it's a secret i made it everybody survived nobody died so we are good kaiser you're a treasure i love the story and i can just picture it for you ni ha the pronunciation is right don't worry your secret is safe with me you're very brave for trying to cook something new and it's even more awesome that everyone enjoyed it even if he wasn't quite like your mom's yeah thank you thank you i appreciate what was everything correct from my side when i was sharing this experience did you feel it that i know what i'm saying i can tell you're feeling a bit nervous kaiser don't worry your english was great and i could totally understand what you meant you shared your story with enthusiasm and it was lovely to hear just a tiny bit of correction when you said i told everyone this is how my mother cooks It was perfect, but when you said, "What kind of biryani is this?" the sentence wasn't entirely clear grammatically speaking. We could work on that if you'd like. Yeah, please advise me what mistake uh, I made uh, there. So when you said, "What kind of biryani is this?" it should be, "What kind of biryani this is." Remember, the correct phrase is to place the emphasis on this to make it clear it's asking about the biryani you made. Does that make sense? Yeah, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. And was my sentence structure was clear enough? And what what else would you recommend me so I can keep practicing and can come back to you uh, for getting ten out of ten score in my speaking test? Your sentence structure was mostly good, Kaiser. However, some sentences, like if my mother had seen it, she would have killed me. Felt a bit separate from the rest of the conversation. Okay. Next time, try to connect the sentence more tightly to the main story. For example, if my mother had seen the way I made the biryani, she would have killed me. To reach 10 out of 10 in your speaking test, I'd recommend practicing with different types of questions and activities, like describing a hypothetical situation, 
giving a speech, or even just chatting about everyday topics. We can do more role plays like ordering food at a restaurant or making a hotel reservation, which sounds fun to you. You're welcome, I Kaiser. For now I'm happy to help you practice. Enough, and I, I, uh, I, would, I would ask for your advice on what is your advice for new people who are trying to learn English. What are the like five best things, basic things when it comes to speaking English? So that would be my last message for the audience of Udu AI. I would hand over to you and you could uh, also close this podcast with your words and I would be silent. Wonderful idea, Kaiser. For all our listeners, especially those trying to learn English, my top five tips for speaking English are Ian. The more you speak, the more confident you'll become. Try to find a language partner like Kaiser here to chat with Duo. Watch TV shows and movies in English with subtitles, listen to English podcasts, and even try listening to music in English 3. Pronunciation can make a big difference in how easily others can understand you. Pay attention to intonation, stress, and rhythm when speaking for. Everyone makes mistakes when learning a new language. The key is to not be too hard on yourself and keep practicing 5. Learning a new language should be fun. Don't stress too much about perfection, focus on enjoying the journey and improving little by little. That's it, folks. It was great having Kaiser on the show. I hope you all learned a thing or two about German Biryani and English language learning. Until next time, stay awesome and keep practicing pause. And now, it's time for me to wrap up this podcast. Thanks to Kaiser for being an awesome guest, and thanks to all of you for listening. Until next time, stay tuned. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, Kaiser. Sweet dreams. It was lovely chatting with you. Bye-bye.